please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, Quartermaster here with today's video. It's number three in our diagnosis series, mid-corner instability. I had this very experience. I would let off the brakes mid-corner, so I'm at max lean, lean angle, and I would finally let the last of the brakes off, and the bike would step out. The rear end would just step out. One time so bad, I almost high-sided. And it didn't matter how smoothly I tried to let off the brakes, it would step out. It was because of that experience that we started this diagnosis series, handling issues that almost all of us experience at some point. Here's a preview. Next complaint comes in two basic phrases. Middle of the corner, bike's moving around. As I let go of the brake and go to the throttle, I don't have the stability I'm looking for. Any kind of mid-corner instability is where you're at something of a constant state. And what that means is, break to throttle transition, you're in position, you have your speed, you've got the bike on the line you want, and now you physically are in a steady state. You're sat, you're locked in, and you're trying to get the bike around the corner. In doing that, if you have mid-corner stability, what that means is the bars move this way, side to side, very different to chatter, which is up and down. So that mid-corner stability is the bars wiggling side to side. So the first thing to look at is, is your motorcycle doing this? But if you change both and nothing works, this is where you go to after that to try and get rid of that instability mid-corner. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.